Hey there! Back again with some more Minecraft today, and today we're going to be working a little bit more on the uh, the flower crater, still over here. And uh, I have been gathering some resources. I have been uh, gathering some churras. I don't yet really know if I'm going to use it for this build. I think so, uh, because I quite like the purple blocks that you get from it. But uh, yeah, I have uh, gathered over a double chest of purple now, so I think it's time for a little bit of a break. So I've taken off all the uh, flowers here. And just as a reference, um, I've grown 10 plants here and I got 32 seeds out of it. So it's very easy to get a lot of seeds and then just quick uh, grow them, which is quite nice. Uh, it's actually surprisingly easy to get them. So can't complain about that. But uh, we're just going to take these down for now. And I have my, um, my nice little... Uh, collection of tools here that uh, I've been able to make with the help of um, of gold and pie and tea snow who has given me a couple of mending books to amend my own count and it enabled me to make these so I have uh, avarice which uh, you have seen before except this is the new avarice which also has efficiency for the old didn't I have Iniquity, which is my new battle axe, um, sharpness 5, efficiency 5, silk touch and breaking 3 and mending. Basically, I got a book that was made to make an axe. It had sharpness and efficiency and unbreaking and mending on it. Uh, so all I had to do was up the sharpness and efficiency to level 5. I think it had level 3 of both, if I remember correctly, or otherwise it was sharpness 3 and efficiency 4. Um, and uh, the rest was already there, except for the silk touch, which I had the book that had that on, um, as well as fortune, but uh, the silk touch took priority, so just use that. And then I have dishonor, which is an efficiency 4 silk touch shovel. Uh, and then of course Brian, but you've seen Brian before. Um, so yeah, I have um, I have a tool set now that uh, actually enables me to work a little faster, so that's going to be nice. Um, except for the time when we go back to using normal tools, then it's suddenly going to feel very slow. Which is sort of the thing that I've been dreading, but... Uh, <laughs> not that it's slow, but you know, once you get used to something, you... Uh, uh, you kind of continue using it. <laughs> it's always so satisfi satisfying seeing it break like that. Uh, but yeah, I've been uh, I've been having an all right week, I'd say. Uh, did some streaming last weekend. Um, unfortunately, there's not going to be a whole lot of. Um, videos about it. Uh, the first was channel art, um, which is for the next series that's coming up, which I'm probably going to record either today or tomorrow. Um, today is Thursday, just as a reference. Um, so yeah, that's uh, quite nice. Now I can continue on that. That's going to take over the slot for Tales from the Borderlands, but that ends in, I think it's a week. So yeah, that's uh, that's quite lovely. Um, and then after that, I still had some hours left in the day, and I had started um, a picture at another point. And uh, well, I figured I can either have a lazy evening and lie about, or I can do something constructive and uh, actually continue drawing. And, you know me, I hate wasting time, so uh, I decided to continue drawing. And I finished the colouring, so um, I made that piece. It still needs background, it still needs to be shaded, but otherwise it's looking really nice, I think. Uh, quite satisfied with how that came out. Um, but there won't be any videos on it, unfortunately, because it's sort of naughty uh, it's a pinup so it's not really something I can show on YouTube otherwise uh, <laughs> it would get my channel banned 
Um, so yeah, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. But if you're interested in watching that sort of stuff, I do suggest that you follow me on Twitter so you can see when I'm streaming. Because that sort of stuff is going to be streamed over at Picanto, which um, allows that sort of thing. Um, other than that, I'm probably going to move to... Um, what is it called? Um, to beam very soon. I just need to do my overlay and move over. I'm thinking of doing an overlay without the chat on it. Um, just so that I can move over and then figure out the chat afterwards because I have to change the way that I detect the chat and put it inside the video. Um, so I'm going to make a more modular design for the, um, the overlay. But anyways, um, let's have a look up here because we have had visitors. Um, I placed a sign here back in the day uh, that said, Over would like to build here please. And then I put up the pillar to mark the area, but uh, we have had a visit from our new landlord. Uh, that will be three fiddy please for building permit. So, uh, well I guess we're going to have to figure that payment out. So uh, why don't we go over and uh, take care of that, um, take a little bit of a look at the payment of the permit. I'm sure that everything is now sorted. I actually took care of that a couple of days ago. Um, and while you are having a look at that, I will take down the pillar and put up the uh, initial bit of um, scaffolding just over this uh, hole here, I think. So I'll be back with you in just a second after you've seen the clip. Bye-bye! Hey there! Over here in New Spawn, uh, because we have a little bit of a uh, payment that needs to be sorted. So uh, I figured that I would stop by and handle that. Um, so let's head in here and uh, drop off a little package here for our new landlord. Uh, yeah. And uh, I guess I owe you. And uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but uh, let's have a look. Hi there, Pi. I wouldn't exactly be lying if I claimed to be the smartest bitch in the block, though that's probably because, probably partially because I'm the only bitch around these parts. Um, so you could imagine my embarrassment when having to try to define a fiddy. Well, I still have no clue what a fiddy is, and all I could find was a weird connection to Loch Ness for some reason. So that had me thinking, could it be slang or maybe a typo? Well, in either case, there's only one thing that I can really think of that fit in conjunction with a big snake-filled lake. Uh, so here you have the three best fishies that I have. I hope that will be sufficient payment for the land, otherwise I might have to owe you a video three. But uh, do let me know either way. Love, Aura. So, with that, we have a fishy and a fishy and a clown fishy and I'm fairly certain that that is our debt paid so uh, back to the building bye bye and here we are back again and I have uh, taken down the pillar so now we're ready to start doing some of the scaffolding and uh, what I wanted to do was go here get approximately at the center of it and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and let's see, twelve, thirteen. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there is the center. And then if we go to the sides as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty uh, good eye measurement. Um, but anyways, um, what I uh, was talking about is uh, that it has been a pretty decent week. <clears throat> now the question is, can I still do this? Um, yeah. 
I wasn't sure if you could still do the safe drop thing, but uh, I'll probably take it a little bit in stages. Um, so, uh, yeah, this uh, week has been a good one and an interesting one. Um, because it started kind of weird. Ow. It started kind of weird because um, we had to the, um, the trains here in Copenhagen, where I live. Um, they, uh, they've been introducing a new signal system. And um, to run that in, uh, get it working, they had to um, basically take it out of commission halfway or something like that for a month where one of the two trains running the distance was taken out of commission and so only the other one runs so there's only half as many trains and uh, on top of that you also have the problem of um, uh, what is it called um, you have the trouble of uh, Like, even though you're running with bigger trains, um, let's see if we can do this. Um, you're running with bigger trains, you still have the issue where in the rush hour you're running with the big trains anyway, so um, it sort of doesn't mean anything that you're running with big trains, so yeah, it's a bit compact. Um, but. That was supposedly going to be over, but as it turns out, it was not uh, because they decided all of a sudden out of the blue that this, um, this uh, what is it called, uh, this month, for another month, they're going to do exactly the same thing. So yeah, we have the pleasure of the uh, trains running only half, and not only that, but Monday, the first day that they were doing this, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, just before the uh, afternoon rush hour, a cable broke on one of the stations that is right on the border of the uh, area with the new signal system. So, <laughs> as a result, well, I think you can guess it, yeah, no trains were running. So, uh, I got into the train Monday and I looked up at the uh, at the station display and saw that it said Lungbu as the final station. Now that's not even close to where I need to go. And then you instantly know, okay, something is wrong. Uh, <laughs> so get on the train, go to Lungbu, get off in Lungbu, then uh, from there you need to catch a train bus. Um, and there was sort of a lot of people and chaos, so I got on the wrong bus and ended up in, um, what is it called, in uh, Hillo rather than Svenemulen, which is the, uh, the station following that, and which is the station where the problem sort of um, ended. Um, ended in quotation marks, I'd say. Um, so that was... Uh, a little bit of a problem, <laughs> uh, but luckily Hillegop is also the station where the F train is running from, so rather than having to go out and find another bus to take me the one more station, or finding other means, I took the F train which was going all the way around Copenhagen, uh, and basically getting into the back of where I needed to go, uh, just a couple of stops away. At that point it would have taken me about 20 minutes to walk from there, but I um, <clears throat> I was lucky enough that I caught a train the last couple of stops, um, so it only took almost 100% more time. <clears throat> Usually the uh, the full trip takes um, an hour, including the initial bus ride. But um, there's also um, 
like if you just call the counter train, it takes 45 minutes. Um, and that was about the time that was put on top of the trip. But on top of that, I also had to uh, get further delayed in the beginning because of um, the bus. Because apparently the buses I was getting on right at the beginning of the trip broke down. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> This uh, this was definitely not their day. Um, a little bit of an issue, but uh, hey, I got home, and uh, well, as a result, Tuesday I uh, didn't um, go to work because I was looking at the trains in the morning, and every time I decided, okay, I'm taking this train. Five minutes later, the train got cancelled. So, finally, when it was almost 9 o'clock in the morning, the time when I was going into work, where I was supposed to be at work, the latest, well, um, I gave up and said, okay, so I guess I'm taking a day off. So I stayed home, and uh, then later that day, my sister sent me a message, and that reminded me that it was Tuesday. And, well, if I have a day off on a Tuesday, I might as well go visit my parents, because... Oh, look at that. Maximum limit. Um, so I guess just for the sake of having light, we'll do that, and then we are up at the top. So yeah, on Tuesdays we have Tuesday coffee, and that's quite lovely. Um, so I used the opportunity to go visit my parents. Um, but there's also another div another reason for it, namely, um, as I said on Twitter, the cat is out of the bag, and uh, actually, one of the reasons why we haven't been inside the house yet is because there's something there. Um, so let's put these here, and then let's go have a look. Because if we hop in here, you can see it almost right away. Boop! As a box. Happy birthday to the Wolf of Minecraft from T Snow Crash. Yep. Tuesday was my birthday, so I didn't mind taking the day off and going to visit my parents on my birthday. It was quite nice. So, yeah, but uh, I haven't had a look inside the box here yet. Um, I wanted to do that on camera. So, um, how about we do that? Let's take a look at what T. Snowcrass left for us. I kind of feel bad for him having to run through the nether because the path here is not safe. Um, strongly advised to bring a bow. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, there's the opportunity for blazes to spawn on the path, and uh, ghasts will be able to see you, so it's uh, it's not a safe place to be. Um, but uh, yeah, let's have a look at what T-Snow left us. Oh wow! Gold and glowstone and blaze rods. The blaze rods are awesome. I'm having some issues getting those. That's too nice. A blast protection book. Efficiency 3. Fortune 3, efficiency 4. An amending book. Feather falling 4. Huh. Let's have a look at the book. Uh, I guess here. Happy birthday, Aura. I hope you had a wonderful day and that it was filled with warm hugs and lots of laughter. Much love from me to you, T Snow Crash. Ah, thanks, Han. I really appreciate it. That's very, very nice of you. You shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I was actually trying to hide the fact that I was uh, having a birthday. In fact, on Skype, you know, Skype do, does the whole like um, notification that this person has a birthday today, and I always feel like. It's the same with Mother Day, Mother's Day, really. Like, my sister usually tells me that, remember that it's Mother's Day today. 
Well, if you're telling me, then it doesn't mean anything that I'm remembering, so... Could you not? <laughs> um, so, the f meaning of it kind of disappears when you're telling others. So, I removed my birthday this year, but uh, apparently... Lady uh, remembered that I had a birthday, and... Um, well, once it was out public, it uh, sort of started the ball rolling, and uh, yeah, <laughs> all of a sudden everybody knew. So, well, uh, I tried. <laughs> it's also a matter of, um, it, to me it feels like a lot of my life has been wasted, and birthdays are sort of a reminder of that. But I do want to point out that I still appreciate all the birthday wishes, and also that um, now that I'm actually in treatment, my life can sort of begin finally, so it's not as bad as it has been. But anyways, I said that um, Lady was the, uh, the first that wished me happy birthday. Well, if you don't count my kitty, of course. <laughs> uh, and uh, she actually left a gift for me as well. Um, and I recorded that, opening that gift. So uh, why don't we hop over to that clip while I uh, get a little more set up here. And then we will continue a little bit more of the work. And uh, start off. So uh, be right back with you. Bye bye. Hey there! Over here at the flower shop in New Spawn, and uh, it's Tuesday today. And the reason why we are here is because Lady told me she left something for me, and that I was not allowed to look until today. So, since it is now Tuesday, we're gonna have a look, and I think we found what we are looking for. Happy birthday, Ulra! Aww. Thanks, Han. Going through the side here. Oh. Oh, there we have it. Let's take this out. Let's have a look. Pretty banners, a shield, an axe. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, Han. Let's see. To dear Aura, happy birthday, sweetie. Hope you have a wonderful day and that you enjoy your gifts. Lots of love, Lady Random and Random. Ah, thank you. Thank you, both of you. Try taking these out. <laughs> oh, I like it. What about this? <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Thank you very much, both of you. Let's put these back for now. Oh, thank you very much. I'm honestly surprised that you remembered, but uh, I'm happy that you did. Thank you very much. And I hope that you also had a good day. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. And here we are back again, and uh, yes, um, so let's continue the story here because, um, well, the train trouble that had happened and caused me to take a day off on my birthday had continued uh, all the way until Wednesday morning, luckily stopping before um, I had to go into work. So um, that was uh, quite nice. So yeah, I went to... Uh, I went to work on uh, Wednesday as usual, and probably a good thing. Oh, sounds like we have a skeleton somewhere. There he is. Can 
I'm on you. Ow. Bugger. Um, there's also a creeper down there. I need to light this place a little uh, up a little bit, but uh, I can't get out, so that's always something. Um, but uh, yes, the uh, the train trouble lasted until there, and I went to work. And the reason why I'm actually recording this today, Thursday, is because that um, today, um, what is it called? Um, well, today is a holiday in Denmark, and because it's a holiday today, tomorrow is being is an enforced day off. Um, so, uh, with Monday off as well, because I'm going to the clinic there, I'm having a five-day weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing some various things there, and I'll probably try to stream as well. So. But you might already have seen that once this goes up. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, I got up normally on Wednesday and uh, that was um, sort of a little... Uh, let's, uh, let's wait for that and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, give me just a moment. I'm just going to place these blocks, and then I'll be right back with you once that is done, and we will continue because uh, talking and counting at the same time—that's a little hard. So um, be right back. Bye. And here we are back again. I just finished putting in the last blocks, so let's just light them up and we will continue with the scaffolding. Um, so let's drop down here and continue the story. So yeah, Wednesday I got up um, normally, um, which is sort of more than I did on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday I woke up at 5am in the morning, uh, writhing and bathing in sweat. I was not because I was having a nightmare, but I was certainly having uh, quite an intensive dream. And I might even call it a wet dream. Um, not precisely, I guess, but I guess it kind of qualifies. Um, basically, the dream that I was having was... Uh, of an encounter with a family of uh, anthropomorphized and if um, I might add very masochistic um, <laughs> uh, rats um, let's see 13 12 11 10 9 8 let's just keep it at that so that's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're right. Um, so yeah, uh, it was basically a dream of this family of rats. I think it was a mother uh, and two sons, if I remember correctly. Um, and they, uh, well, they had quite a bit of uh, fun torturing me in various sexual manners um, that was quite intensive it was like they tried something I couldn't stand it it was too much and I ended up asking them to stop and they did and then they either did something else or they tossed me to the next one in line and uh, picked up again um, so, <laughs> I want to say that uh, they were not unkind at all, um, I mean they stopped when I said stop, then it started again granted, um, and I finally woke up at 5am in the morning when uh, they uh, attempted to clamp my nipples with mouse traps. That was a little bit too painful, so it actually woke me out of the dream. Um, but, uh, yeah. 
I, I just want to point out that they were not unkind at all. In fact, they were quite warm. They just liked inflicting pain a lot. Um, a little bit too much pain for my taste, even though I can be a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a pain hole. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I mean, I'm not mad at them at all. Um, in fact, I'm kind of feeling a little bit guilty, a little bit uh, sad that I wasn't able to stand the pain, if that makes any sense. Uh, because it sort of felt like I was a disappointment, but they didn't feel... they, they, they didn't seem disappointed. Um, but yeah, it uh, it was certainly a very vivid dream, and... Uh, well, I can't say I've had anything like that before, but uh, it was certainly interesting. I'll give it that. Um, let's see here. One, two, three... Four, five, and six. Um, and I probably need to put in a safe drop somewhere so that I can actually get down without having to go down the ladder. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting, <laughs> quite interesting, I'd say. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I. Th I think we're getting uh, to a good spot here. I still need to do more scaffolding and I need to do some uh, work on the the shape of the bit here. Um, but we're getting along and soon we can start actually constructing. Uh, the reason why I have put up the pillar here is because um, with this and with these rulers that I've put in here, the rulers is both going to be places where I can work from, so general scaffolding, but it's also a matter of knowing how much space I have to go on so that I can scale things appropriately. Um, but yeah, I wanted to know how much space I had to go on while, um, oops, <laughs> or before we hit the, uh, the top of the world. So, um, if we just go and sleep real quick, we can have a look in relative safety um, before the monster starts coming out of the out of the woodworks. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> let's pop out here and let's just hop over here to the side where we can probably see it. Let's hop up on the tree here, I think. So let's see here. So we have, like, I might have misplaced some of them. I think I got it right, but I could have made a mistake. But that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times 20, that's 180 blocks to work with. Um, and based on that, I will be able to start uh, doing some scaling and stuff. And then we will uh, start working on the build. But uh, until next time, I'm probably going to start putting in some uh, rings um, around it, sort of uh, shape giving things, so that we can start sculpting uh, the building itself. But for now, this episode is already running a bit long. Um, so I think I'm going to call it off here and then we will continue with the construction next time and actually start on the real building. So until next time, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Um, and as I said, if you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind fairy stuff, which is most of the stuff I do, um, and if you like drawing, well, do consider dropping in for one of my streams. If it is something I consider that you put on uh, YouTube, I'll be doing it on Twitch. Uh, and once I can, on Beam. Um, but uh, if it is something that I cannot show because it's channel art, or because it is naughty, um, then it will be done on Picanto. Um, so, if you don't mind not safe for work stuff, well, 
drop on by and you might just see myself uh, continue some more drawings of this new character that I've been working on because um, the reason why I had to draw that pinup is because it's a character that I have been developing inside my head for a while um, and she's sort of a part of myself and it was sort of more an outlet to draw her because I needed something that uh, like I, I needed to get it out sort of I guess um, and yeah of course I can't show it in this video it's not really appropriate but um, I might be able to show some of the other pieces because it's not all of them that is going to be not safe for work. In fact, most of them probably not. But uh, yeah, this one, I felt like doing that. But uh, yeah, do keep an eye on me on Twitter if you want to look out for that sort of thing. But for now, let's call this episode off here and return next time with more building. So, see you again in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye bye for now. Oh. And before I go, thanks to everyone for the birthday wishes and thanks to everyone for the gifts. Bye bye everyone. Bye.